All right. Today we are hunting for a big one. It has a long neck. I heard there were sightings around here. Mm. Let's go this way. Oh. I heard they like to feed in this area. Let's go check it out. A little salt, 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 salt. Let's see if we could spot it. It should be in this area. Yeah, I don't see the Brachiosaurus. It's probably still in the back. Unless it's over here. Nope. They have not put it on the floor. Uh, why am I not surprised? All right, looks like I'm gonna have to ask employee. So they brought it out, and here it is. I thought I, I thought the box was going to be actually a lot bigger, but I mean it's still pretty big, as you can see. I put a Marvel Legend beside it. Boom. So I will show y'all this Brachiosaurus out of the box once I get home. So awesome, and yeah, let's check out the legends. Spider Woman, Hydro Man, Vindicator, Cannonball. Yeah, they don't have much. Yeah, nothing new from what I can tell. Holy crap. Terrible. Everybody chill. And they're coming out with a Mesco, Mr. Freeze. That's gonna be sick. Can't wait. All right, if I see anything else interesting, I'll show you. Oh, I didn't see this last time. Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Whoa, that is cool. I love the packaging art on these Godzilla figures, man. They look so good. Look at that. Just the Megos. Yeah, I think we've seen all this last time, including this too. This Predator set, which I haven't seen in forever. It's good to see. Is this Batman set? Yeah, I don't see it here. I may have to ask them to check the back. Maybe it's in those. Let's check. Read a link? No, it's not the right company. All right, if I see something else or if they have the box set, I will show y'all. All right, I just got off work. And now I'm hoping to find... Whoa, they're having a sale already on all those toys? We'll take a look at that after we find Danny Moonstar here. <gasps> Just kidding, she's not here. It's like the same old from last time. Two junk rats here. There's a Zarya. Good to see. This chick. Ant-Man. A couple more Ant-Man. There's another Ant-Man there. Hydro Man, stop looking here. Nothing here. No, they have Majin Buu, final form. And they have the Tron figures. There's Sark. Some of the Pacific Rim. Obsidian Fury. Pink Ranger, that's good to see. Cool, that's cool. Now let's look at what kind of sale they're having over here. Sale with car. Buy two at six ninety nine each. Get one free. It's referring to that Stegosaurus there. 
Yeah, they're having some. Yeah, a lot of them are buy two for six nine nine and then get one for free. I guess because they're not selling any. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> they're like fully stocked. All right. Well, I mean, if any of your kids or even if you're interested in any of these, keep that in mind. They're having like a really nice sell. What's this? Blockbuster? That was a puzzle. Breakfast Club. I miss Blockbuster. But then again, I don't miss paying like around five bucks to just rent a movie. I spent, man, it's crazy to think how much money I spent on Blockbuster movies. Do they have any of the Funko Pops? <laughs> no, they don't. If I do spot them, I'll show you. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's see what they have. Oh, they don't have any new Power Rangers. They do finally have Moloch on sale, $14.99. Like there's four of them. Will they get cheaper? It might, but I think they're gonna be they're gonna all be taken before then. That's what happened to the uh, the Gamorian guards. They went on sale for $14.99. They all just disappeared around this area. So yeah, I think it's about time to pick up this fella. Right, let's see what else they have. What is this? Puzzle, mystery puzzle inside. Uh, you know, let's go check the Marvel Legends. Oh, this thing is on sale. It's $31.99. It was $39.99. So, this is on sale too for $23.99. Rhonda back there. Uh, I did have an ultimate warrior, but I guess he has been taken. Yep. All right. Now, I'm not really looking for any Marvel Legends, really. I do want some of the GameStop exclusives and Danny Moonstar. There's Iron Man. Sinister? Wow. This guy has been here for a very long time. Cannonball. Anything new? A lot of stuff for. Oh, these are $17.99. Only $2 off. So, not that good of a, good of a deal. None of the Transformers are on sale, surprisingly. I don't remember seeing this. That's cool. Haunted Mansion. This is a Target Limited Edition. Oh, it comes with a t-shirt. Yeah, it's cool. I guess they had more, maybe more Haunted Mansion stuff, but they all have been taken. Anything in end caps? Nope. Looks like they might do a restock. Still have a whole bunch of these. The Colossus 2-pack, surprisingly. Is that Iron Spider 2-pack here? Nope. It has finally been sold. These are eventually going to go on sale. I wonder how much though. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, is Danny in the building? Wow, they only have one Marvel Legend and it's this old eel figure. <laughs> he actually looks really cool. Look at the, uh, the torso of Abomination. Holy cow, why is this doing here? <laughs> it's cool to see. I got some Gundams. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. No new pops at this particular Walgreens. Alright, 
Oh, they have the Gold Ranger here. That's good to see. May pick them up in the future. A couple Overwatch figures. Tracer and McCree. Alright, let's get out of here. Looks like they do have some Funko Pops over here. They have the new Monsters exclusive. Herman Munster. Some of the Hocus Pocus figures. Sarah Sanderson. Got Mysterio. Phoenix down there. Django Fett. Wolverine exclusive. Anakin. Patricia Adams. Uncle Fester. Ooh, they have Spirit Spider. I haven't seen him in a while. That's cool. Oh, they got some more Marvel Legends over here. Nightcrawler at Walgreens? <laughs> okay, interesting. That's so random. Oh! They have Cannonball and they have Emma Frost. Oh, you know what? I know someone who needs this. Fellow YouTuber, so I'm gonna contact him and we'll she'll see if he still needs it. Uh, let's see, let's put that crawler back. Yeah, it's my first time seeing this wave at a Walgreens. Interesting. Looks like they do have this Spider Man exclusive the bombastic Bagman version, I guess. He's wearing the Fantastic Four suit. That is really cool. Very simple looking though. Not much details. So, not a huge fan of it. Oh, look at this. Venom and Venomized Captain America mini mates. Oh, they got some more here. Venomized Hulk. Symbiote Spider Man. Wow, those are pretty cool. I don't collect mini mates though. Wow, if I did. I would get these. <laughs> they look great. They have the Spider-Man Future Foundation exclusive as well. I'm not sure if this is new, but oh, look at that Octo Spidey, man! That looks really cool. I think these are new. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, I think that does it. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, let's check out the remnants of this this Walmart's Oh man! Look how many first order Jet Troopers they have. The carbonized version. They still have four or five yeah, five total. That was pretty sick. I was not expecting to find this. Uh, second sister inquisitor there some vintage figures which i'm not really interested in some lightsabers that's basic fiction no one bought this uh, let's see what they have here i wonder if they have the mandalorian uh, it doesn't look like it Anything back there no no Well, sweet. Yeah, I'm going to pick this one up. Let's see what they have here. Nothing there. Some dinosaurs, some transformers. Oh, they have Alfred. Two Alfreds. Face coat was not that great. Let's check out this one. This one actually looks pretty good. All right, sweet. I was not expecting to find this here, so okay, might as well pick this one up as well because I wanted this. But I kept kept finding bad versions of it, the bad paint apps. Alright, nice. Uh, let's see. Guinness Fell. Captain Marvel. Man, they don't have much Marvel Legends at all. 
Some down here, songbird. Anything underneath. white rhino. Man, these look really good. I'm eventually going to pick this one up for sure. Oh, that reminds me of Cheetor from Beast Wars. That's actually a really cool set. Wonder how it's yeah. They're pretty big for Marvel Legends. They look good though. They have the elusive Jaguar. And the big paw bear. These are 993. Alright. They have some wrestlers. Oh, they do have the rock. Oh man, I couldn't pick this one up last time because it was street data or something. I don't know. It, they couldn't scan it. So, man, awesome. All right, if I see anything else, I will show y'all. All right, is Danny in the building? have Marvel's Jackal. Haven't seen him in a while. Same with Electra. I remember seeing her here long ago at this same Walgreens. Sex Force Wolverine. Speed Demon. Oh gosh. A couple serpents, Namor and Medusa who's in the back. Morbius. And let's see. I do have some Westworld. Some Overwatch. This Tracer. Junk Rat. I do have the Pink Ranger. Box is extremely damaged though. They got Dolores Abernathy. That is a terrible face goal of her. And yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be picking this one up. I may pick up Man in, the Man in Black and then Robert Ford, aka Anthony Hopkins, one of these days. But yeah, he's got the best face go out of all of them, in my opinion. Yeah. Not right now, though. I'm gonna wait. I see him everywhere. Oh, wait. What? First edition <laughs> Star Wars at Walgreens. Okay. That's good to know. It looks like they do have Harry. Do they have Voldemort? Nope. Three Harrys. Wow, that is really good to see. I don't need them, so. Keep them here. I already have them. Oh, yes! They do have Octo Spidey. And the box is pretty damaged, so I will not be getting him, most likely. I mean, he's not that bad. I don't even know too much about this Octo Spidey. But it's a really cool looking pop, as you can see. It's not in terrible condition. I may pick it up. I'll think about it. They do have the one with the bag over his head. And the Fantastic Four outfit. And Aladdin. Still need to watch this movie. The newest one. Godzilla. What the heck is this? <laughs> That's kind of gross. <laughs> it looks really gross, actually. What the freak? 
Godzilla 2016 2? What the heck? I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's Sakura. Abraham back there, handsome Jack. Whoa. Loyal subjects. Man, there's a lot of details to it. I think it's eleven ninety nine. Trying to rip us off, man. All right. If I see anything else interesting, I will show you my shibu. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, check your Walgreens if you guys want the first edition Star Wars figures. It's really good to see. All right, let's get out of here. All right, it's still Sunday. I don't even know why I'm checking these Walgreens. Pretty sure Danny is not in the building. Nope, of course not. Do you have the Gold Ranger? Magic, a couple magics. Yellow suit, Daredevil, another magic. Susan back there, Susan Storm. Coming out with the new. Oh, another Emma here. Nice, it's good to see. It's Nightcrawler. Wow, what if the heck is on this? Someone smeared something on it. <laughs> Well, that's good to see, but not what I'm looking for. There's Poe. Nothing new. <laughs> they still have this swamped <laughs> figure. That's funny. <laughs> you know, I might, not, I might have not even showed showing you guys the clip so yeah came here like a couple weeks ago and this was here so it looks like it's a Captain America mold and then he added I don't know where that jacket is from <laughs> he left the Caliban go the figure apart from the looks of it All right, if I see anything else, I will show y'all. All right, here's the remnants of this Target's Star Wars display. I wonder if they have the Mandalorian. Doesn't look like it. I would love to get the pop version as well. Some more stuff here. A lot of second sister inquisitors. Nothing here as well. Oh, those Blu rays. Interesting. How much are they going for? Does not have the price. These are not on sale yet. Well, well, well. Man, that is damaged. But it's a Mysterio, man. That's such an awesome figure. That was stealth with Spider-Man as well. We'll leave those be. Sell over here. 
I think he's on sale to every Target right now. Yeah, got something on clearance. <laughs> Not much here. If I see something interesting, I'll show you. Hey, what's going on, folks? Marvel Ranger here with another hunt video. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. Um, man, we found a lot of good stuff out there. Um, stuff that I did not expect to find, and we found some good deals. And I actually got this haul. Actually, consists of more of um, a lot of online stuff. So, um, looking forward to showing off that and. Yeah, sorry, I sound very sick. Uh, I've been sick for the past like week, and it's just been miserable. It feels like it's only been getting worse, but I figured I need to hurry up and put a video out, because I haven't put a video out in about a couple weeks. Anyways, hope y'all been doing well. Uh, thank, you for your, thank you for your patience. Let's go and get to this haul. So, I'm not really going to do a, like a long showcase or anything. I'll just do a quick overview with these figures. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the... Uh, to the stuff that I found during the hunt. So first item is this first order jet trooper. It's the carbonized edition. There's the side. As you can see, it kind of glimmers, which is pretty cool. Got like a glimmer effect. There's the back. Hey, so now I, I do have all the white box editions from this line, I believe. Anyways, yeah, I was very surprised that they had, what, five left at that Walmart, and I went there, like, after a couple days, so they either just didn't sell much, or they put them out late, but either way, I'm very pleased to have this. Looks really good. Uh, does it come with, it doesn't really come with many accessories, it does look like it has a jetpack in the back, so maybe that's why they didn't add something else over here. It comes with this pistol, too. It looks good. There's that, and then let's get to our next item. We got the Malak. Finally went on sale for $14.99. There's a the side, and yeah, nothing too special. It's a big fella. It's a heavy figure. Um, yeah, he looks pretty good. Really nice details. Oops, sorry about the clear there. Man, he actually looks really good close up. Look at them eyes. Them cold blue eyes. And then look at the features on his face. Man. And the nose. That's pretty impressive. I didn't really notice that. Dang. Okay. Looks like he comes with a staff. And that is like a... I think that goes over his mouth. It looks like a small pistol. There's that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to open him up, open up yet. Open him up yet. I just don't have room in my Star Wars shelves, so I haven't opened up my Star Wars stuff in the last like several months. So I gotta find, I actually gotta buy more shelves. Alright, so our next item is the Alfred Pennyworth. Pennyworth from the DC Multiverse line. Really happy to find this figure. And the face sculpt looks good. with three interchangeable heads that's awesome or four if you include that one i don't even know who that character is supposed to be you can pass as like other a whole bunch of other characters out there oh it comes with a bat the mask of batman too interesting it comes with a tray because alfred is a butler in case you don't know it comes with Killer Croc's arm, right arm. So yeah, if you if y'all are wanting this, I would recommend getting this when you can because I think he's gonna go up in price, mostly because these interchangeable heads. And it's an excellent looking figure, it really is. It's an excellent looking Alfred. All right, there's that. All right, and this next figure, I actually. Um, didn't get footage of because I had to uh, pick it up at a GameStop to call in so they can reserve it. And it is the War Machine or the Punisher War Machine or the Pun Machine, whatever you want to call them. Um, man, I felt so lucky to, 
to get this uh, when it when it came out in GameStop. I know like since he uh, since he nerd, he found he's a, another fellow YouTuber. I'm sure most of you know him. Uh, he found this at his local GameStop, and it it went viral in, in this toy community, and um, everybody went hunting for it. <laughs> The hype was real, but now it's actually um, a fan exclusive, so it's actually up on uh, for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for like I think twenty-two dollars. So it's not a rare figure. It's there's, they probably made plenty of them, and it's gonna come out I think in December. But I guess they had some early batches come out to GameStop, and they re released them pretty early. I feel so lucky to have it, but now it's like eh. But it's an excellent looking figure. Really nice art too. Look at the side. Just the back. Yeah, it comes with a lot of accessories from the looks of it. Looks good. All right, and now let's go ahead and get to the stuff that I found online. All right, so I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. This is General Grievous, obviously. Looks great. Um, I got him for, I think, like $31 or $32.99, I think. And he was going for like $29.99 at Best Buy, which I could have um, copped a while back when he first came out. But they sold... I thought he was going to be a, a shelf warmer, but I haven't seen him at a Best Buy in forever. So, it's an excellent looking figure. It's pretty light, though. So... I heard he's kind of hard to hard to uh, stand, but we shall see. Comes with the four lightsabers for his four hands. All right, and our next item, man, I've been getting, been getting a lot of Star Wars stuff. Here is Emperor Palpatine. Comes with his Emperor chair. Whatever you want to call it. What is that? Oh, is this Kane? Yeah, this is Kane. The lightning effects. And it comes with two interchangeable heads. Two extra in interchangeable heads. <laughs> they look really good. I mean, gross at the same time. I want to open up this fella, but I don't have room. Man, I, I really need to get some more shelves. Or I need to just change them some things up. And then let's see. We got this from Mesco. This is an exclusive. This is the Stealth Ops Gomez. If you don't know who Gomez is, he's the basically the mascot for Mesco. And as you can see, the... It doesn't come in the normal um, box, but it comes in this, it's like a lunch box. It's kind of weird though, they put these, they should have put, put it the other way around, I think, right? Would have made more sense. I mean, this is not bad too, but I feel like it should have been the other way around. I'm just kind of nitp nitpicking. But it's got some really nice art, look at these bullet holes. There's the back. Looks like he's fighting. They actually remind me of some like Korean zombies. Looks really good. Don't know who that fella is. Maybe a, a kingpin variant. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show y'all how the packaging looks inside. Oh, once you open it up, the stand is right here, and it kind of folds out. You fold this one out first, and then all these fold out as well. And as you can see, it comes with all these accessories. It's a boom box. Some grenades from the looks of it, a knife, bow and arrows, man it comes with tons of accessories. Is that C4? Uh, I'm not for sure. Oh these are the things where you um, 
it's like a, you see they got handles on it where you grab them and you like plug them to the side of a building and climb up <laughs> like the ones that you see in uh, the movie mission impossible comes with a skateboard some more guns comes with a duffel bag and some stickers a lot of interchangeable hands and there's the figure right there and yeah he's got the middle finger up right now okay so I, I put all these back in if you take this out there's a couple of interchangeable heads basically like an ant or a cockroach sorry all right there's that and let's go ahead and get to well, let me show you guys a better look at at uh what's his face gomez looks really good because with that body armor a sword really like this head the white head sculpt here looks really nice man they're coming out with a lot of gomez figures <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming but they look awesome all right so our next item is from entertainment earth and this, I actually missed my opportunity to get this fella. Um, and they re-released him again for like a day or two. Uh, a couple weeks ago. So, definitely happy to have acquired this fella. It's Randy Savage, a.k.a. Macho Man. And it came in this packaging here. Which is, you know, you guys know the Slim Jim boxes <laughs> even has the nutrition facts meat 100% spice juicy taste excitement macho madness 100% boredom 0% snap 1000% ooh yeah <laughs> excuse me yeah I'm still sick um but yeah I really like all the colors it's the classic outfit love it Classic Slim Jim look here. Really good face sculpt. I think I'm actually going to keep him in this packaging. I, I like it how it looks like this. Yeah. I, I actually don't even have a shelf for wrestlers. Don't really have much, so. Still gonna need to find a place for them. But yeah, this is an excellent looking figure. He was going for like, I think, 30 bucks. All right, so this particular clip is uh, or is being recorded the next day. Um, I totally forgot to show this during the haul, so uh, it might be in between some other clips. But anyways, this is the Jurassic World Brachiosaurus. It is gigantic, as you can see. I put uh, the Mafex Venom there, just so y'all can see the size comparison. And... I really like the details and the painting. It looks really good. As you see, there's some weathering there. The tail has a little bit of articulation. And, of course, the legs do as well. And, yeah, it's a very... You would think it's kind of heavy, but it's not. It's pretty light for its size. Um, it actually, you can actually take out this piece here. And... There's the face. Looks awesome. I love it. I really like how the eyes came out. And the mouth actually articulates too. It opens. So we can eat them trees. That's how it looks from the front. But yeah, did any of y'all pick this up? Let me know if you did. I absolutely love the dinosaur collection from the Jurassic World line or any of the Jurassic Park ones. Um, you know what? Let me go grab t the T Rex and then I'll put them next to them so you guys can see the size co comparison. All right, here is the T Rex and the Brachiosaurus next to each other. As you can see, they scale pretty well. And <laughs> look at the difference in the size of the heads. That's nutty. Like, just imagine, like, back the times of dinosaurs, man. Like, 
these brachiosauruses had no chance <laughs> defending off these uh, T-Rexes. I mean, look at the size of that mouth. They probably went, the T-Rexes probably went for the, uh, the neck. <laughs> probably just decapitated them by just chomping on that neck. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Sounds reasonable though, right? What do y'all think? Man, seriously, I love just thinking of imagining how it was, how it must have been back in the times of dinosaurs. Just seeing how these uh, dinosaurs behaved around each other. Anyways, that's that. All right, let's go to the next or the last item. Sorry about that. So our last item is is actually a, a find from Face, Facebook Marketplace. And it is the Star Wars Black Series. Jabba the Hutt. Doesn't come with anything else except his <laughs> big ass, basically. <laughs> it's a really good looking Jabba. And I got this fella for 10 bucks. This lady was selling it for 10 bucks. I mean, box is damaged and everything, but I'm going to take them out of package anyways. Once I, once I find room, I need to, I definitely need to get some more shelves. We'll put the Star Wars uh, figures in a different shelf. But yeah, this was a pretty, pretty epic find for me. Definitely happy to have him. I think he's going for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks plus. On eBay or Amazon too, so yeah, it's got really good details. What if that tongue comes out? That'd be a really cool addition. Pretty good painting. Looks like his arms articulate a little bit. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so that wraps up the haul. Hope y'all enjoyed. Again, I apologize for sounding so sick throughout the video. Uh, I wasn't even going to make a video today because I've been feeling so crappy, but figured I need to hurry up and upload a video for y'all since it's been over like a week and a half since I uploaded a video. But I hope y'all been getting some good hunts in. Hope y'all doing well at your workplace or school or wherever you're, whatever you're doing. And um, yeah, make sure you're taking care of your loved ones, you know, being a ranger to them. And um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm still looking for Danny Moonstar. She is so elusive, or she just haven't showed up here in this area yet. And uh, let's see. Really want that NYCC uh, exclusive Funko Pop of Stan Lee, where he's like in an astronaut outfit, the one where he uh, made a cameo in uh, Guardians of Galaxy 2, I believe. And uh, yeah, I think that does it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure uh, if you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. Uh, if you're not a subscriber yet and you want to subscribe and you like the content, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to comment, go ahead and comment. If you don't, it's all gravy. Um, you're not obligated to do any of these, you know. But, uh, yeah, hope you all are doing great. Hope you all are doing well. I will catch you all next time, all right? Ranger out. Peace. All right, my dudes and dudettes, um, if you've made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, hope y'all enjoyed actually this uh, tour here. It's a mini tour, I guess you could say. So I'm not going to put in the usual outro. Instead, I'm going to show y'all a part of my collection. So this is my kitchen. And yes, I do keep all these toys in here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, the man cave actually is over there, as you can see. Um, and I actually moved into this house in the middle of last year. So I'm still decorating, still trying to get furniture in that room. I guess you can call it a family or living room. Um, but anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and get to the toys that are in the kitchen. So on top of my refrigerator... Here we have the Ban Presto Damaged Goku, Super Saiyan Goku. Details on it is just absolutely marvelous. And this thing went for only like 20, 30 bucks. I think it's still that same price. Really like these statues. I mean, the sculpting is just amazing, especially for the price point. 
The only thing I dislike is just these stands. Oh, that's a bit dusty. I just don't like these black stands. I wish they'd switch it up. Maybe put some clear ones and then maybe put, I don't know, maybe some more Dio um, props or something like that. I think that would be a nice addition. And they could raise up the price. Um, and then we have uh, Viserion from Game of Thrones. Uh, a whole bunch of Cup Raymon back there. And then we have the Spider Gremlin. Uh, I got this from Entertainment Earth last year when they were having that sale during Christmas. They, I think it was like 30 days of sales or something. So each day, like at midnight or I forget when, what time, but they would put out uh, a particular item at a very low price, a discounted price. And it would only be up for like maybe a couple minutes. And I got lucky and grabbed this. I forgot for how much, but extremely cheap for, for how much it really is. Excellent looking figure. Matter of fact, I recommend, you know, saving your money, saving some money for the those type of sales. They had some excellent deals. Just, just it's crazy. I hope they have it again. And over here, we have the dinosaurs. Yes, I really like having them in front of the sink because when I'm washing dishes, I really like to just ponder and think about the times of dinosaurs, you know, how they behaved and all that. And just thinking about, you know, how big they were, just like absolutely just mind boggling to think how that dinosaurs actually roamed this earth. It's crazy. So, yeah, there's the Brachiosaurus. T-Rex, the Mosasaurus, and then we have, uh, I forget the name of this toy, but if you've watched, if you've been with this channel for a while, then you know this fellow was picked up at that um, antique store when we got the uh, the old Toy Biz Apocalypse Wave for less than $100. And then we have, uh, over here, I'm actually not going to say what this scene is from. If you do know, please comment down below. This is a very popular scene from a TV show. Absolutely one of my favorite shows of all time. It's an excellent looking dial. And it actually lights up in here. Down there. And then over here we have this water filtration system. And above it we have Ant-Man. And then we have Godzilla. I really like this figure. I really like the articulation on the tail. It's really satisfying to, to move around. And then we have, uh, I believe, the Diamond Select Gallery um, Metal Batman. I saw this at GameStop when it came out, I think like a couple months, and it was in the back counter, and I was purchasing something else, and I told the guys, like, what's that? Let me see that. I mean, the box, the packaging just looks awesome um so it was very attracting and i saw the statue and usually i'm not a big fan of the diamond select gallery statues because they their face sculpts are not that great on most of them in my opinion but this one looked looked uh looked good enough for me but as you can see like the armor and all the other dial pieces everything is so highly detailed and it was only like 50 bucks Definitely worth it, in my opinion. What do y'all think? Really love this piece. Um, I believe it's um, six scale. No, it's not six scale. Sorry, I think, I think it may be 10. I don't know, I forget. Uh, if you know, please comment down below. And then let's see, in this room, uh, it's a mess, so I'm not going to show you half of the room. It's just, yeah, just very messy. Um, yeah, these are the posters that I still haven't hung up yet. It just, I don't know, when I come home, I'm just so busy doing other stuff, so just haven't really, I do have time, but I just, ha I don't know where to put them yet. But yeah, there's Spider-Man from the first Spider-Man movie. Really like this poster. And these are pr pretty big posters, like I think 36 by 24. 
really like the Superman one. And then we have Avengers Infinity War. And then we have Batman. And I absolutely love this. It's not a painting. It's just well, someone did paint it at first, and it looks really good. Oh, they maybe I think they just used crayons. <laughs> it came out very, very nicely. Very nice. And then over here we have another Batman poster. Oh, sorry about the glare. And then over here we have the uh, figures from the Primal Age line. Good. And then I have these two. Um, there's a rhino and a wooden card. Uh, Hippo. I got these two from South Africa. But yeah, that's that. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this uh, little mini collection tour, I guess you could say. Appreciate y'all watching. And yeah, catch y'all next time. All right, Ranger out. Peace.